welcome to the end of the household. Hi, my name is Perry. And I'm Debbie. And my job is Head of External Relations for an organisation up in London. So this time tomorrow, I won't be going up to London, haven't done that since March, but I'll be sitting in our home office looking at the computer. Um, normally I'm in lots of video calls, but about this time tomorrow, I think I'm going to be reading some documents and sending lots of emails. And I work with the Open University, I tutor um, science and various things with them. Our term hasn't started yet, but it's gearing up. And so currently I'm being allocated students. So this time tomorrow, I will be looking through uh, and checking the, the uh, list of people that I'm like to be being given and doing some admin stuff in preparation for the new academic year. So how does God use you on your front line? <laughs> well, in numerous ways, I think one of the key things is the fact that I am a Christian um, and I'm into science as well and some people don't necessarily see that as a as a thing that works together so one thing that I, I I'm able to do is is just break that barrier I think that's quite a useful thing to be able to do but also it's supporting students who are often uh, working sometimes full-time and have family commitments so it's about being um, someone who's supported for them and their studies in circumstances that can be really different uh, difficult such as this last year, obviously, with the coronavirus, it's lots of things that have happened that have been a bit unusual. And it's it's being there as a support for them. And um, and in my introductory letter, I normally explain the things I've been involved in, which includes the fact, so the most, of the, most of the students will, will read that and know that uh, um, I'm a person of faith. And as I say, I'm, I'm their, their science tutor. So that, that in itself can sometimes uh, raise some interesting questions. How about you? So I manage a team and I'm involved in lots of the discussions about what our organisation does and I would hope that my faith informs all of those kind of conversations. Um, actually there's really active Christian fellowship at my organisation as well, although unfortunately normally I'm too busy to go along to the, the meetings, but I take encouragement from the fact they're there and actually one of the things they do is every day someone sends around a Bible verse to encourage everyone else on the list, which I think is really cool. That's great. Um, talking about Bible verses, we like sticking up around the house all over the place. Um, we've got one on the wall that we thought would be a particular encouragement for the church at this time. If James twizzles the camera. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. And I think that's a really helpful verse at uh, this time, um, coming in, in the, with the uncertainties that we have. It's just a reminder that uh, we can plan uh, different things ourselves but ultimately we we should always give that over to 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 god jesus said about us not knowing uh, what's going to happen tomorrow and not being able to add an inch by worrying uh, but uh, but god has everything under control ultimately and so i think this verse from jeremiah kind of reinforces that and that's quite an encouragement at this time where everything seems to be changing from day to day so may you, we all be encouraged by that and that's it from the other household Bye.